If you are a student that is currently enrolled in a Council on Social Work Education accredited social work program, wondering how and when to apply for your social work license, watch this short video for an overview of the application process for a Minnesota social work license for current social work students. There are four types of social work licenses in Minnesota. Licensed social worker, licensed graduate social worker, licensed independent social worker, and licensed independent clinical social worker. The LSW requires a Council on Social Work Education accredited Bachelor of Social Work and passing the Association of Social Work Board's Bachelor's Exam. The LGSW requires an accredited Master of Social Work and passing the ASWB Master's Exam. The LISW, an independent non-clinical license, requires an accredited MSW, 4,000 hours of post-LGSW supervised practice in a non-clinical setting, and passing the ASWB Advanced Generalist Exam. The LICSW, an independent clinical license, requires an accredited MSW, 4,000 hours of post-LGSW supervised practice in a clinical setting including at least 1,800 hours of direct clinical client contact, 360 clinical clock hours in six clinical knowledge areas, and passing the ASWB clinical exam. As a graduating social work student, you'll be applying for either an LSW or an LGSW. The board recommends that current social work students apply for a license about six months before graduation for the best application process. Applying six months before graduation gives you the opportunity to be approved to take the ASWB National Licensing Exam before you graduate and complete the licensing process more quickly after finishing your degree. Students cannot take the ASWB exam more than six months before graduation, so don't apply too early. Your application will remain open for one year from the date you apply. If you do not complete all application requirements by the one-year deadline, your application will close and you will need to reapply and pay another fee. The first step in the application process is to submit your application and application fee. You can apply at the Board of Social Work website. Find detailed information about the application process under Applicants and submit your application online. The application fee is $60 plus the $33.25 criminal background check fee, which are bundled together when you submit your application. Unless you already have a current Minnesota Social Work license, all applicants are required to complete fingerprinting for a criminal background check. After you submit your application to the board, you will receive an email from the Criminal Background Check Program Office with instructions to complete fingerprinting. Start the fingerprint process as soon as possible to avoid delays to your application. You need approval from the board before you can register for the ASWB exam. It typically takes 30 to 60 days for the board to review an application from the date received. If required supporting documentation has not been submitted when your application is reviewed, your exam approval will be delayed. Once your application has been reviewed, the board will send you a letter by mail if you are approved for the ASWB exam or if additional information is needed. Register and schedule your exam with ASWB as soon as possible after receiving approval to avoid delays to your application. When you take the exam, you'll get your exam results right away. ASWB will automatically forward your score report to the board, which can take up to two weeks. Remember, passing the exam does not mean you are licensed. There are still several steps to complete after you pass the exam. Your license cannot be granted until you have completed your social work degree requirements. When you complete your degree, contact your school to have your official transcript sent directly to the board. To be considered official, the transcript must come directly from your school, either electronically or by mail, and must include the date your degree was conferred. It typically takes a few weeks after you graduate for the state to be included on your official transcript, so you may want to contact your school to check when the conferral date will be listed. If you plan to start a social work position shortly after graduating, you may be eligible for a temporary license after you have completed your degree requirements but before your official transcript includes your degree conferred date. Go to the Apply for Temporary License page at the board's website to learn more. The final step in the application process is submitting the initial license fee, which is a prorated fee that covers your first license renewal term. Your first license renewal will be in your birth month, two years from the date your license is issued. When your application is complete, the board will mail you a letter about your initial license fee. 
You can also check your application status and submit payment online at the board's website. Your license is not effective until the board receives your initial license fee payment. After you've paid the fee, you are authorized to practice social work in Minnesota. Your license number will be available at the board's website within 24 to 48 hours after you submit payment. Your license certificate will be mailed to you in a few weeks, but your license can be verified at any time using the board's public license lookup. This video is only intended to provide an overview of the application process for current students. Go to the board's website for complete information on social work licensing. Look for the Social Work Students page under the Applicants tab to find detailed application steps, tips, and resources for Social Work students. If you are a student in a Minnesota Social Work program, attend the board's student presentation offered at your school.